Alrighty, let's watch this here. There's no sound, but they're awesome 2D awesomeness. That's a double awesome, because that's how awesome it is. Into that, and it loops <laughs> nicely. I'm always a big fan of, of, of shots that loop like this. This one is really, really, really cool. And to be honest, I really don't have that much to say. The biggest thing would be at the beginning, because I do love this. I love how it comes out of that into like the magic of 2D. Look at that, it's great how you got that support on the tail how far back we go with the legs into this the fold of all of this with the head coming up with a really nice silhouette and then look at this Bam! double frames there. i love that the coil again the double feet here that big Bam! up and really big extension there the pull on the nose that it comes back into this massive stretch here and then coming back the lines there like i love all that stuff there. so well done you got the down up into that with the scramble of the legs with a slight hold you can see on that arm we kind of linger on that arm a bit and then into into the what what is going on it turns into that it's just really great really old school design and then you get the full thing here it's just so cool with that little extra pulling it i think it's just it's just so much fun to watch into that so the only thing i would say is that when you look at the beginning we're going from this into that area forward that area forward and then back so it's just the, like the halfway point here if i'm going up you can see the uh, halfway point there it's just a bit repetitive now again this is like this is as picky as well when it goes up i will i would draw little changes here, little compression and the spreading of the toes because there is movement blah 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 like, you can be that picky and this could you know you will continue through all of these frames but there's just more leeway in 2d that's why i'm not i mean i just said it even though again it's picky like there's so much awesome stuff that's always moving it could be like a nice little detail to add that in there even maybe on the way down a slight curl then go then you can go out into a stretch for this little detail things or if you watch my stuff you know like tangents even though that's an overlappy thing here but gets into a bit of a tangent they're kind of keeping things potentially cleaner or you go further with the overlap here stuff like that but to me again this is so picky and it's so much fun to watch it's so original i just really really love that clip the only thing i would say is that this is almost like a super exaggerated idol where it just keeps going and keeps going that's the only thing i would say it could be something where I mean, if he goes back, and again, I love the shapes. I love the drag on the ears and the nose. All the really nice arcs and just the, <laughs> the drag there back into this. I love that. Look at that frame here. It's all that. It just has a really nice rhythm and bounciness and fleshiness. And I love the rhythm on the hands here. It's just nice contrast of big shapes, small, 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 back into big shapes small 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 into this i mean the thing you could argue because the thing is the loop comes with a reveal after the smoke so the character could start anywhere so it could be something of looks already fairly aggressive what if the character is you know almost a full length more screen right and then with this you go up here to then almost stretch out the leg a bit further to then swoop in to this position into maybe not as high go back into a slightly different pose where it's maybe a bit more lean back into an outstretched leg again to end up now in this final position for this so it's almost like that repetitiveness gets broken up through slight repositioning globally to go from screen right to screen left i think that's the only thing i would say that could be kind of fun so it's less of an idol and has just something more because it's just a bit, I mean, it's the first half is taken up through all this. Because then it goes into absolute awesomeness. That is fantastic. Again, to be honest, that's the only thing I have. And I shall not dare say anything else because I am horrible at drawing. It is, is something I would never be able to achieve. <laughs> Even if I would take this and I would copy it and I wrote rotoscope the whole thing, it would look so bad. So hesitant in saying anything else. But you know, it has really nice overall lines and shapes it's just it's just 
I just really, there's nothing I can say. I, I'm rambling in terms of how awesome this is. But if anybody's watching this and feels like, all right, if you want to be really, really picky, what would you, what would you change? Like to me, it would be the awesome of the beginning, just adding more contrast. So it's less A to B to A to B. And we're going more, like I said, right to left. Because it is aggressive, and that's why I'm saying right there, because you want to advance towards the opponent. Because it's not like he has, like, oh boy, someone's attacking me, and then I will go away from the threat. So with this aggressiveness and with the face expression and the actions, that to me will be like, well, let's go right to left. Screen right to left. But I'll leave it at that. It's a really, really cool clip. Alrighty, let's watch this. There is sound, and it loops. <laughs> Super cool. I want to play that more than once just because, again, the cycle is really cool. I thought this was really clever in terms of the characters, what they're doing, the effects in there, the prop usage there. You can see that. Grab. Pa, 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 and then grabbing that egg. Multiples. Hitting this. Then plop. I love this here. I love that it turns into that. And then into this. Also with the fun sound effects of him laughing. <laughs> That's really cute into that the only things i would say again this is one of those where i picked it because i think it's really cool and i don't have too much to say if i will be like to me like this is really cool i love the stretchy limbs really the exaggeration especially through this like all of that has a really nice feel real nice line of action and just the, the energy and to me also the the originality of the content there all of this into that i think that's super cool my picky notes will be like a slight, slight polish tweak on the timing. And I know, again, this is, it's so good already. It's not like it breaks the shot, but if I be picky, because I, I can choose to be here, <laughs> I would say, bam, there's something about this where she comes down. It's not a huge change in terms of the leg poses, where also this is kind of, kind of hiding it. So I would, to me, I have a, a bit of a, a different leg pose so that we can come down into this, or it could be something where, it's low, and I know we're coming from a a loop where she jumps up into legs that are up into that. But then to me, it would be something, is there anything more that we can do to bring those legs down? Maybe just something so that this leg is not stuck there. Give it a bit of a bigger change. It was all through that. I see arms doing the biggest thing, but head and legs are somewhat stuck. And with this, that huge thing, to me, it feels like from here, to here she would almost be here i would give this a bit more impact of that that much power going here pushing her faster over this way that's all cool i love that whole and then this here i would probably even though i love all those frames i would hold this that's fine and then take this frame out keep this one and potentially do a mix between the two where she's lower we stretch your legs. Like if you watch this, it just feels almost a bit slow. I would have loved this to be shaka. <laughs> That's like a bigger, bigger snap into this because I do love their whole doing that. That timing is great. And then going up here. And the only picky thing here, and again, this is not wrong, but it would have been fun instead of her passing out because I don't see anything in that post change where she gets hit here, recovers. And I know we're, you know, there are almost no frames here, but to play with the idea of her eyes opening and maybe one leg going up and maybe a change in the other arm and then this to hint at the fact that she leaves. And it's almost like you do that maybe a couple of frames earlier and that last frame you would already have. I don't know if you want to really indicate like the body here in a really stretchy leg over one frame because you want that surprise. But that would be kind of cool to have her not completely capacitated and then this happens where it's like one frame like wait did she just move did, did something happen and then you got the surprise of her coming back in here and then probably taking in a frame out or maybe keep this take this frame out go into that a bit of a snappy entrance so it's a bit even but it reads well. I mean, that's the counter argument. It comes, we're all focusing here. Oh no, what happened to her? 
and it comes out of nowhere where the eye has to adjust quickly. So if you make that too fast, you'll miss it. But I think we could get rid of that one frame there. Give us a slight poppier entrance. Just enough, because you also don't want to ease in too much into this. And the only other thing here, if I look at the big guy here, there's just a lot of frames of um, twinning. That's the only thing I would say. It could be a bit of a, a more of a fun pose change. And even on something where you can see how there's rotation in that egg, but also a bit, maybe a slight rotation in Y. So that for flowing, when this happens, is that we actually are in a more profile view. So you can really accentuate the head and the teeth. And up until here, there's rotation in Y. And then as the guy lands here, it's almost a bit more, I won't say full three quarter, but a bit more this way. So you just have an overall rotation Y. So it's not so just up, twins, and then down. That's the only thing, even these guys. I mean, there's a bit of an offset there, but then these feel just a bit too twins. I think that would have been fun. Because also, it is so round and landing here that it could continue almost a little bit of a spin into that. But I love the 2D effects. It fits all really nicely. I like the little detail. If still eyes are looking, it could have been cute to almost push the eyebrows into a change as well. Maybe that's a bit too Jim Carrey changing eyebrow size, but it's been kind of cute to push that. Just change the shapes a little bit. And then the other character is really neat. The only thing I would say in the other one is that here feels a bit dead. It would have been cool. And I know that's he knows that's what happens. That's what he did. But a slight reaction of, and not a surprise, but like, ha ha, I got you or something. And then on that impact, maybe that tail has a bit of a flip, flip, little fluff, maybe arms. Again, it's aware that this is going to land. It braces itself for that impact, but it's still fairly heavy. Heavy enough, too, for the camera to react. So a slight impact shake in there, maybe something in the tail, or just something, or, or ear twitch to connect, BOOM, to this. And then that's that. And I like how it comes back here, and then POOF, that. As this disappears, you can see this here, hold on, it's in my loop. As this happens, CHUKLUNG, continues, and then the, uh, the egg reappears there. Again, the rest is really cool, love all the exaggerated limbs and the, the pulling, you got the nice 2D effect here. All that is great too. We go into a really clear silhouette for that grab. Because it's fast, right? If you go look at this here. But we still have just enough of that's cool and that's cool to understand what is going on. Of a hold too, which is really cool. Hold, hold, hold to really communicate and have that really nice line here. For a snap. I think that's really cool. This probably, it's a nice silhouette. Even a bit of a tangent there. There also is an argument to keep that maybe a bit tighter to, to get more into a, this is now pulling. There's a lot of exertion. Maybe this is not the best color to use, but something where it's less like that's enough of a curvature, but then it goes into a bit more of a curve into almost straights, but you feel that uh, obviously not like this, but just a bit straighter to feel that tension into that and then relax into a curvature. That could be something picky there, but I still love all of this. Love all of that, courage in the ears. There's really a lot of attention to detail. And just fun, it's just fun to watch. I love that it loops, but just the really great usage of space, of phew, coming closer here, phew, all of that. I, love, I still love all of this here, the impact, grabbing the egg, the surprise moment, and the hit down. It's just a really, really fun clip. So I'll leave it at that, thanks. Alrighty, let's start with this one, and it has sound. <laughs> <laughs> Great sound effects there. <laughs> now, speaking of sound effects, maybe not, but what's happening at the beginning. So besides me liking this, I like the presentation. It's really cool sets. I'm curious where those sets are from. I always like adding sets and things. So things maybe that will be a clipping play if that's Maya. Seems to be Maya given that is, those are the rigs here, but I'd watch out for that. It's a bit distracting. But the biggest thing to me is that and I know there's a bit of a limit in terms of time, but it would be cool to not have that guy come in just yet so that we don't have, oh, I need to take in all those details because you have a lot of tiny things here that draw attention where like, I want to see what that is. But then I'm seeing this happening here. So my eye goes here, but then at the same time, this big black thing comes in here. Well, now I want to look at that. So it would just be something where 
potentially simplifying the details a little bit, taking some of these things out and then making sure that she has enough time to be the focus. So maybe by frame six or seven, that's when he comes in. And then it feels like he stops when she's doing this. And I, I again, there's nothing that's wrong per se. I mean, this could just be a move and he just gets ready. But for me, it would have been awesome to have that ching, almost maybe create a wave or have that big event happen now and two, three frames later, he comes to a stop so that he goes, whoa, I got to stop because this is happening. Maybe I shouldn't attack right now. And right now he stops. He's also not looking. So to me, it would be coming in. Well, actually, it's not true. He looks here, but again, we kind of missed that. To me, again, to simplify things, I would have just her. Then he comes in. Still looking though, not going down. I'm all for contrast and changing things, but I think there I will keep it up. Then this happens. Then two, three frames later, he stops and does that. Also frame wise, it's a bit harsh. I know we're into more snappy animation, but I'll just be careful because it just it just pivots right off. You can, you can go through it. It's right there in the middle. You can see also how this barely moves forward. I'll give this just a little bit more translate forward, kind of like here. Just to not kind of stop that so quickly. I do like that you have a slide in the feet, but then I will give this frame more sliding. Because you have a bit more sliding through there. And this is the moment of full velocity of this foot coming in. So pa, 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 three frames, I'll give this a bit more of a bigger slide. And as this foot comes back, I like that you have that's the direction at the end. It's this, but then at the end, it kind of goes back. I'll give this maybe one more this way for push. But again, this is all picky stuff just because it is already awesome. I do love all the stuff she does here. I'll probably just clean this up in terms of silhouette to have that a bit cleaner. Again, it's also a lot of detail in the back. That Gives it a bit of a, a mushy um, silhouette. But I do like the extremes here. Ba -ba! With 2D effects, I'm always a fan of that. This feels a bit like it's she's going over the knife, but it's a bummer that there's no real. Because this feels like she just slipped right through it. There's an intersection there that's not on that frame, but in between. Maybe a bigger reaction. Maybe it moves that arm up and that knife gets kicked out or out of the hand or something. That just feels just a bit of a random move. And then again, the spacing where there's a big move down, but then it kind of hits that invisible wall, boom, right there. And then it goes back, I would keep that a bit more fluid. And again, something like this where it's cool, but again, the coloring, all of that starts to blend in. We're missing the silhouette a bit. Or imagine you had something like this, brighter right there for silhouette, or, or not super black, so it wouldn't work with him, but. It's just that background is a bit of a bummer in terms of silhouette. Speaking of silhouette, I'll probably bring that foot out a bit more. Might as well break that rig and really keep that clean in terms of the silhouette. But again, the actions are cool. Ba -ba -bang. Like that right there. Good face to the effect, stretchy leg. All that stuff is cool. Just every now and then, it could just be a bit cleaner. I do like that little hold on her. It might just be because of the um, the camera shake, but I will probably on this keep extending those arms. Just keep, even though it's a hold, still continue with uh, with the power to then boom, go into that pose. And I like this a lot. I would like that change in the camera. That to me is a nice silhouette with that behind her through these frames, with a really fun expression works with the color. Again, this is a bummer, but with tangent there and those things, I would take these out, if if not both of them. That works better with the silhouette. But it's a fun, it's a definitely a fun shot. This to me works really well. That whole hold and into this with the flappiness in the fingers and going back up. It could also be something like if you're doing that continuing of that move, this feels more like a translate in that thumb joint, I'll probably rotate this and then compress these fingers, just get a little bit of more, bit more detail there. So it's not just that transit that kind of feels like it's a broken thumb joint there. But that is that, it's very cool. All right, let's watch this, there's awesome sound. It's 
Very cool. Really good foley there whenever they land. And one of my favorite things is this here. That. Just sliding back, going down, even pushing off this section of that sword here, just kind of pivoting off over there. But you hear that sound. Oh, it's so good. I really, really like the sound effects in this. Also, just the, the rhythm of everything. It's basically what I tell my students a lot, and it's, it's sometimes if you watch my critiques, I do this thing where if you take the sound off, like I would do things with... It just adds rhythm and it gives me... For me, it's a frame of reference of when things are supposed to move, but when you just listen to the original sound here... It just has really good rhythm. Again, I'll turn this back off, but it's just really, really neat. Now, right off the bat, let me bring in actually that clip in a bit more because we can see, you might argue tangent, but it's frame one, you will never see this. But I do love right off the bat, we have this here. Whoa, big reaction. Zoom out into this. There's really good weight in this as we go back. And I love, love, love the adjustments. Getting ready, pushing down a little bit here with the sword hitting the ground and then going back up. And I love that swing on the sword going back and then back forward into this, into a really nice clean silhouette. The only thing I would say is probably move that knee down a bit further and with a slight tilt up here on that foot. Mainly because this is something that if you watch my critiques, uh, you hear that a lot. Um, I would bring the bend of a knee away, either like up or down, whatever. But if the knee is bending towards us or away from us, to see the bend a little bit so we understand that's the structure even on something like this we understand the structure of the leg more and if you go into a full-on silhouette this just feels like a short leg that's the only thing i would say on this part but again i picked this clip because it's really really good i love the posing i love the action i love it because like i said there's enough weight on that hole it doesn't feel like it's rushed <sighs> getting ready and just enough where it doesn't have to you know hurry into this and rush through it there's a nice enough of a uh, get ready and then go back in there so, on something like this i would probably keep that sort of a bit longer but you have it very long here and i know it's an in-between breakdown there but this could be something where on that slash maybe that sword comes out here although it's a bit there but it's fairly clean you know the elbow potentially pushing these but there's a good silhouette there because of the color difference that's definitely ba -ba -bam, going up into a really nice hit. And again, holding this long enough. That's what I like about this too, is that you got that big push ba -ba -bam, with that momentum, pushing him up, pulling him up there, being on the tippy toes long enough. You can see this, how long he stays into a step down into this. And I love that little transition, bringing that shield back, going into anticipation. And then we got your full extension into really nice, again, clean silhouette for the final strike. And look at that. Really, really neat. Again, I picked this because it's awesome. It's not like I have anything super constructive to say. I will go like my picky notes about the sword tip here being having a tangent there, potentially leaving that a bit more clean like this. Not that it kills the shot, because then you go into a nice silhouette here. Like these are like super picky things. If I had to go in there for my friend, again, I don't have to. I chose that <laughs> to use that clip here. But I wanted to also bring up a shot that just works really well in terms of where to look. Bah! I like explosive beginnings. Again, the weight is good here. Gives us enough breathing time to have the other character come in. And it comes also with the shadow in here. I like this little... That. That's really cool too. Again, something where I probably bring it up a bit higher. It's clean. It's not... There's no tangent, but just a little bit. Probably keeping this a bit cleaner. I do like this though. The overlapping shapes and where uh, the animator chose to put that in there. I think that works really well. Arm goes back into a small shape. That hold is really good. If you watch this in real time, that's a good rhythm. And then smack down. With a nice long stretch there. Bring my head up here with that nice impact. Extra shapes there. Like I love all that stuff. And you can see that little turns into more of a rag doll, but just enough with everything moving. Yeah, it's really cool. Again, there's not something where I can say, this is horrible and here are my <laughs> two cents on how to fix this. Like sometimes I just like to pick out shots where it's just, it's all really good. And if anybody's watching this or a student watching this, it's it's also important to see, 
here's a shot that doesn't need that much extra work. It works really well. I mean, it's like I said, the arcs are really nicely done. It flows really well. It's a great presentation. The camera moves work. And again, there's enough stuff there to show us that the camera is moving. Even though you have like the horizon to the background that blends. But you have all this to understand. No, we are moving the camera. We are translating up. We are, uh, are tilting up. And it's not confusing. And it helps with your complete reframe. And it's nicely balanced too. I don't think there's nothing that stands out where I would rebalance things. No, it's great. I mean, I'll leave it at that. That's really a clip where I have to say it's really great. The only thing I would say, I obviously want to mention it, but this is one of the main reasons why I picked it in terms of critique, not in terms of because it's awesome, because it is awesome. The only thing, because it's, we are so sideways, it's always very, very, very sideways. And I understand because the character is here and that's where the focus is. But it would have been kind of neat on something going back like that on that slide and a recovery to give us almost a bit more of a three quarter view where it slides and maybe has a little bit of a turn. I know it will break up that nice silhouetted profile, totally understands, but sometimes it, it would have been cool to get, for me it would be doing this section here, something where it's a bit more sliding somewhat towards us with you know the head three quarter and then turning back. It's almost like, oh, this almost brought him away from where he's supposed to be because he's three quarter and then he goes back into profile into this, right? To have a bit more, a bigger contrast of profile hit three quarter, almost messy. That was almost like a messy, so like, oh, I'm, I'm, I was hit and I have to recover, but let me find my strength again. And that is re-emphasized by a super clean profile silhouette. I mean, that would be the picky picky thing. Um, and that is that, all right. Another awesome clip here. No sound, but it loops. So let's play this here. And then getting up and continuing. Very cool. Really like this one. I picked this one. A 2D stuff I was always kind of, I don't know. I see this like, that's really cool. I love the character design too. Really neat contrasting look between the two. I think the action is pretty cool. It got some really nice Dynamic, big poses, really nice, clean silhouette. Big action and love this, giving it enough time to go and then get back up into this. The things I would talk about, this is why I picked this one. Again, I love all this, even like little things here. All these effects are great, like small, big character, nice line into this. The only thing I would say is here that bum bum feels just a bit weak. Was the thing is you got, I know maybe the the intention is well not enough force and this is why it needs the hammer to do the bigger damage but i still feel like there could be something a bit bigger because if it's not doing enough in terms of, i know this is really fast like not like you have enough time to play with acting where you can read facial expressions but my train of thought is that if this happens here and the character is barely moving there's a bit of an impact obviously going up here you can see how this changes here, but not huge in the face. And you got, again, that bam, that doesn't move too far out. To me, it feels like, well, if that's not enough, and that's why the character goes, well, then I need my hammer because this is not doing enough. Shop a boom into this. Then I would just use that moment bam, into this, where the face has a really big take of eyebrows down, big eyes going, oh, this is just not enough. And right now it feels like, the whole expression is always er, angry, er, er, angry, er, er, angry. The same where, well, I guess that's just what the character wants to do. So then I would go, well, but then I would just give this, bah, just even for a small moment, a bigger line impact through the body, er, a bit more of a oh, squeeze in the face, maybe a bigger eye there to kind of push that, all oh, that, the pain. That's the, way, that's the only thing to me here during this section. Then as we go up, the only other thing is that this is super picky, but we're playing a lot with the um, right to left at this point, right? We're going right to left here. It switches left to right. But then here, it's like you're, you're imagining the force going this way. But then we cut to this where, I mean, it's not, it's slightly left to right. You might argue it's also straight towards us, but I don't know. There's something to me where I would stages where the character is actually somehow 
down and here and it could just be a bigger twist in the body to land in this position if that's the upside down that the animator wanted but there's something where i would still have that happening here with right to left just continuing that right to left feel because then as we do this here <clears throat> we are still in a right to left orientation and then it loops back into bam again right to left so the only switcheroo here is is this and then going back to right to left super picky um that to me is the only other thing i do like i said love impact and how long we take here for this to hold and i love that the arm goes up first before of this like this is all like oh groggy but i'm gonna do this again and then out and i love that it's the right eye that's open so it really looks at that character first but then it would be also neat to actually continue this with this eye still looking still looking and then maybe getting into a blink into and bigger eyes like a quick flare like a i'm ready to fight and then into this picky 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 stuff but that's the only thing when i was watching this going that just feels so so weak in terms of those two punches but then i'm thinking okay well that's probably the reason why he gets the hammer but then i'm missing just like a little it's a quick moment of like a quick reaction like i said of pushing that moment of oh that's not enough i need more help let's get the hammer but then of course let's go back here if this is really a loop and you're super picky go back here there's a plane in the background if you can hear this there's the hammer and then the hammer's gone so is it really a loop or is it anyway i'll leave it at that again it's a really really cool clip i love anything 2d love the little background elements like you know it's just it's just enough there to hint at things there's enough there to understand what the camera is doing give us a horizon line and perspective change and all that stuff i think it's really cool character designs are neat the actions are cool all in all uh it's really neat i'll leave it at that Alrighty, this one is more in a square aspect ratio but has sound perfect <laughs> so it's, it just cracked me up there's just something about a bird grabbing the food slapping like a bird slapping a human out. there's something that just cracked me up and it's it's more on the you know like more, less is more type of thing i'm gonna bring down that hold on perfect. Perfect. Reminds me of that. If that's from Street Fighter 2, it might be old. But I love that you have that slight, oh, cute, cute little birdie <laughs> into that reaction. I think the only thing I would have loved for like a quick little boom, where it's almost like the head comes back a bit with a big eye of like, what just happened? But not enough to go back to look at the bird to then get the second boom. The second uh, smack in the face. And then potentially having a bit of a... If you watch her... Just giving a bit of a faster impact. Like hold, hold, hold. And like a bigger, of a, a, a faster impact. And kind of recovery. That's the only thing. Like I was watching this here. I love... Again, the idea is great here. Smack into this. And I love also that the head goes this way. And then goes this way. It just that just feels slow and labored in terms of the impact and i feel like that would have been a really nice hold 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 faster faster and then when she does this to me it feels like you want to go like what just happened and i know there's a bit of a down down that type of feel of landing right left to right with a little bounce this way but it would have been kind of fun too to go land and then <gasps> where that is happening actually more away from the creature it's like the surprise of whoa what happens and then with that look it wouldn't just be just in the head but it would be a slight adjustment of that body leaning this way screen left and then <gasps> into this with a slight lean forward ending up in that pose so it's just not so separate again less is more i mean you know that stuff is very very stylized and and just separate there and i like how they kind of kind of look at each other almost at the same time i think that's definitely fun and it goes back into a fun loop that's the only thing but again this is more of a stylized really stylized terms of timing and motion and body mechanics it's even like when she gets hit to have a slight stretch on that back but that's where my more 
um, naturalistic sense of animation comes into play. That's, you know, I wouldn't say that's appropriate to hear, but I do love this, like the poses in the legs are really choo -choo -choo, feeling that watches in real time again. Choo -choo, you can really see the poses clearly in the legs, in the legs, which is really cool. I'm giving it enough choo -choo, quick action and tempo there. It could have been cute to kind of extend that beat just a bit, just for that stretch back. But I do love the whole landing and then into that full turn. Like, that's really cool. Again, not like the less is more doesn't mean that it's badly done. The tweets are still really well done. It has really nice, clean poses. Really a fun feel with all of this here. <laughs> Going into that <laughs> grabbing the whole thing. I mean, it cracks me up. I think it's really cool. It also has that little ding, ding, ding into that and i love how it's at that i'm done with this i'm not going to move anything here because i really want to take the time to go back swallow this and then into and they both kind of go huh? like what just happened and then it continues into like a somewhat loop so like little things here and there um nothing crazy it still has a really nice feel and there's something to this where it's almost dream like what just little little things here and there where i i don't know again is this something that I'm doing, that type of animation that's out? No. Uh, these are just picky things that, again, might be, you know, too much towards the naturalistic where everything has to move and you don't want to have anything, you know, like where nothing is moving. But I think this is all totally fine in terms of stylization and separation there. It's just little things in body posture and uh, on the hair probably. But that's that. I think it's really, really cute and really fun. Uh, and I just love that setup of... <laughs> the bird going crazy and grabbing this. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thanks. All right, let's watch this one. There is no sound except awesomeness visually. Absolutely fantastic. It's cool. So cool. I have, to be honest, not much to say about this one, but I picked this one just because it is awesome and I wanted to go through that frame by frame because it has a really good flow in terms of arcs, how the character holds and then goes into another arc with keeping silhouette as clean as possible with stretchy limbs like this whole shot one here works really well and you can see how that how we go back with that big pull first with the broken limbs going into that stretch down that's the only thing i would say is because we almost trained to look at it this way and that arc because of those um the spider webs it's almost a bummer that it goes down this way it's almost like we want to follow that a bit more again not that that's a, a critique it's just that's the only thing i would say and potentially with those legs out so far and it's coming into this this like, to me it's like there's a more of a momentum going this way a with those lines but also with legs out so far and then coming in that i wish that next frame it just feels like it needs to be this way and not down here that's the i mean that's the only thing to be there again if you watch this it just has a really good flow. I'm a big fan of making sounds as you animate and block things out. This just has an over really good flow in terms of just the rhythm. Again, we come in with a nice silhouette. Again, I'm not, there's nothing wrong. I would potentially bring this down, but at the same time, it also streamlines it really nicely. So every now and then there are things like, do you want that foot to be down lower for a nicer silhouette or is that going to, break it up too much because then you have a nice contrast of that being fairly streamlined because this is a bit more open a bit more um blocky in terms of those angles i mean there's a there's always a valid back and forth the only thing i would say is on something like this is that i would have either the knee out this way or still the knee out this way mainly because when it's still wet like this and it's good because it's so dark you don't really understand the structure of that leg and i know if you watch this in real time shoo, <laughs> it's so fast you know what i mean it's not like something that stands out. It's not a hold per se. But for anybody watching this, generally, I'll be careful. Right? This makes more sense. This makes more sense in terms of structure of what the leg is. Any bend that's towards camera, that's an elbow or, or a leg bend, that's it away or straight away for you or straight towards you. We just don't understand that. This is, I mean, it's fairly stretched out, so it's okay. But this just feels silhouette wise. If I do my squinty test, like a short leg. Like this would be the, the super picky thing. But again, going through, I love the stretchiness and everything especially on fingers like that because it is so fast and love this i mean look at that it's such a fantastic smear frame again this adds to the nice curvature of this you could argue well maybe you could also separate it 
to give this a bit more of a nicer silhouette. Same with that elbow, it does that. I mean, it's technically, to me, like a tangent, but there's something about having that as one shape. Because if you watch this, I do register this, this frame. To me, this is more something that I see than feel. So if you watch this again, I see that. But the thing is, again, the argument could be that this is one nice line that re-emphasizes almost like the wheel aspect of a silhouette, if that makes sense. This is one long shape that works to drive home that circular fashion of this. And now as we stop, we can break this up because it comes to a stop. I mean, again, it doesn't always have to be... I'm not in the camp of everything always has to be a super clean silhouette, especially because like these are super clean. So to me, it almost feels like that's intentional because there are some moments where you wanted to simplify the shapes a bit and combine certain elements in terms of silhouette and then get the contrast and get the clean silhouette for something like that. And I mean, that to me is also totally valid. The only thing I would say on this one is that I wish that somehow this arm was either like that or like that or like that so that when we come down here, it's more like this in terms of silhouettes. We don't have that big thing behind that, like where we start to lose the full forearm because it's overlapping. You got the tangent with the head there because we are lingering over two frames here and then out. That's the only thing when I go in here. Phew, I wish that, oh, it's such a cool pose to come in here and see him land on him to give this like the cleanest silhouette that you can imagine. Because if you continue on, phew, phew, all that is great. Then it gets again a bit where it's, ah, it's too bad. Overlap you there. Do we need this? Do we need that tangent? I think this would be really cool for every frame to be that clean in terms of the separation of Spidey here and Doc Ock's arm. It just creates, it just creates a connection there that I don't think we need. Because the only thing that would say, well, <clears throat> you can argue that we need that connection to visually prepare the audience that Spidey is going to land on that arm and slide down. But the thing is, it's that's not what's happening. Because it's a drop. You could say, well, maybe here, but then it continues to go down and it's it's Spidey swinging itself down. That's the only thing I think I could totally see as an argument of there's a connection. We just visually get kind of prepared that they're connecting. But then I would Spidey go have him go further back with that leg here. And then it's him using that and pushing that arm down. Opla, that's my face here. A dog arc to go again to go to the left here. And the same thing somehow getting rid of that arm right behind that. Because again, we're stopping, we're lingering on those frames where it's a bummer that we don't have the cleanest silhouettes. Super picky. Again, this is a really, really cool shot. I'm just looking at if I had to go in there frame by frame, which you know you don't <laughs> when you watch those things for the first time. You don't, but it just adds, I think, an extra cleanliness, like here, not having that overlap there. But I love this. I mean, again, it's pretend you're ignoring all of this. I do want to point out like the nice arcs into this with the holes, with the explosive craziness of big silhouette, making that foot bigger here. And then you can see how it comes out down into this holes for a little bit. And it comes out with a really nice hold, a really nice silhouette, and just a nice pose in general. And then being pulled down where it, oh, it's almost like his face goes, oh, he grabbed me. And you don't have that in terms of eyebrows or Metal Gear Solid style exclamation marks. You got a big head that might, you know, indicate that. And you get a really nice stretch there coming out into this. And I love that reversal where we kind of hold and this up here comes down with that nice drag holding this still here into that. And of course, into that close up hold there. It's just so cool. Again, picky, picky, picky. And also, if you look at Doc Ock's body, if you just concentrate on the silhouette and the holds and the rhythm, like when does he hold and when does he go, right? All that has really nice, it's all clear. It's just clear what happens, the momentum, for boom, just enough boom, to get hit, but then to go back down. And it's also cool how it's held, but then that's like, oh no, I'm pulling myself back down into that pose with a nice continuing overlap there on the feet or on the overshoot there. And in my argue, then it's a bit pick up poppy just a little bit from that foot there. And that's that. And again, picky, I'll probably bring that arm down into this so that foot is clear for silhouette and anything that thing as well to keep that. Because you got the glove and the hair that gets kind of dark plus this. I think this could be cleaned up in terms of silhouette. 
again, I, as I'm saying this, I feel bad because it's really, it's not a bad shot. I picked it, the shot on purpose because it is so good. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave it at that. It's just a really, really well done shot. Uh, it's also good that it's very clear in terms of the holds and where he goes because with nothing in frame, like there's no building, there are no cubes or nothing, we don't know if that's Spidey or if the camera is adding anything. But it's very clear. I don't see any problems in terms of weird jerky moves or something that's confusing because I'm assuming that's a static camera. But if anybody's watching this and you do something like this and you have a pan and tilt to follow Spidey, I would have objects in there, anything, so we understand, oh, there is a move in the camera, be it a translate or a rotate. Here it works because we got shadow, we got contact points, and there's a bit of a horizon line and shadowing. So if the camera moves here, we would understand it to some degree. I say this and I see movement in the feet as I'm scrubbing. I didn't see that before. Is that a camera move? Because you can see the feet, again, moving slight to the right there. So that's something that would personally not do. Because right now what's happening is that it feels like we're probably translating away since this is moving this way and uh, that foot is going this way. So for something like that, I'll probably not move the camera at all. But that is that. Thank you. Yeah.